Hi everybody, I just want to do a video on my haul I got from a local kind of mini kind of Comic Con kind of thing. Uh, this is called Maple's uh, Comic Show. Uh, it's basically a show put on by a couple guys from um, our local flea markets, and, well, one flea market in particular. Uh, Terrence Comic Crack would know it, it's called Thirsties. Uh, the, two, the two guys there put it on. They don't really like uh, the guy who puts on our major Comic Con. They don't like him very much at all, to be honest. Uh, they, uh, yeah, they just just say they don't like each other very much. But the, the last one they had to put on was was great. This thing's only three bucks a person. Kids under ten, uh, I think they're twelve get for free. So my son and I went. My wife was working, so uh, she couldn't go. But uh, they, they're getting uh, more and more people coming to this. We got uh, there's lots of comic books this time. Like there's a lot of them are comic books. For, and very little were other other stuff like toys or uh, there was a role playing game place called Game Nights there. Nights being um, like the knights sword, sword and sorcery kind of thing. Sword and sorcery, sorcery they like armor guys. Uh, they came. There's a major. There's a one of our major um, comic stores came called Galaxy Comics. They came. So there's tons of comics to choose from, and some were kind of expensive to buy. If you could, for me, uh, they got usually got what I do is. You see the comics in the boxes along, the, um, usually uh, along the two sides of them, and in the middle they got the more expensive stuff and the more higher, uh, the better quality stuff in the middle laid out so you can see it better. And I, for me, that's how I kind of judge what's what it is or isn't in the, how much what the prices are in the box. I'm gonna waste my time looking. I still look, but it depends on how much time I spend looking. Like there was a couple guys there that's like, whoa, that is a lot of money. Like I wouldn't even consider buying that. Uh, and then there's other guys that are just 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 great prices, you know. To make deals, we buy lots of stuff. So, but we bought like stuff from the role playing game place. We bought. Uh, I got one treasury. I got we got some video game systems. So I can't show you the systems we got. I'll start with that. But we've been talking about it. Uh, I set up a little stand over there, and we started. My son and I, because he's getting out of comic books, and we started getting into uh, video games together. Because I enjoy the old video games too. So we have a Super NES, a Cube. Uh, we have. We've had a Wii over there, PS1, and the N64 over there, and we decided we we're gonna get some, some more. But then the Xbox is on the other side of the other TV because it's HD, so we put it on that one. That's just an older TV I had. So at, at this con, at this little con there, uh, this one guy I know from from the flea market. He, 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 he doesn't sell comics. He sells movies, games, and uh, video, system, video game systems. And, I think he has a few, no, he actually, I'm incorrect. He has a few comic books on the counter, that's right. So we decided to get, I said, I said hey, let's look through here, right? Because we're waiting, for, I bought a whole bunch of comics from this one guy, he was right, he has to write them out. So we decided to go look around some more, and my boy found this, he really wanted to play this. So we found Assassin's Creed, so he wants to play that. And then he also found this one, Super Mario Galaxy, Mo sorry, Mario, or Save Mario, it's Mario, he's getting trouble. He played now he got, he got this for the week. And since we were standing there and I was talking to him, he gave us a really awesome deal. Now I'm gonna show you the video game system we got, but we got the Sega Genesis, but we got this free game with it. It came with all the two controllers and one free game and all the hookups and everything like that. So Eternal Champions, it's not my first choice. I'm never playing this game, but you have to get Sonic and uh, Hockey ninety four and a few other cool games for this one. But now we have the system, it works, we we hooked it up. And we also got a Nintendo, uh, yeah, Nintendo system. That's what it was. So we got the gun, two controllers, and hooked up for it. And we also got, I love this game. I oh, probably can't even read that. Uh, Ghosts and Goblins. I'll just read it to you. Ghosts and Goblins, great game when I was a kid. And oh, it also came with Mar the Mario, Mario, whatever, and Duck Hunt, and. Q-Bird. I had this on my Atari 2600 when I bought it a while ago, but it never worked. So now I got Q-Bird. We were playing this for a while yesterday. I love this game. Just love that game. So now we have lots of systems to, to play on. Um, this other gentleman I knew from uh, uh, from another store in the city. He's been trying, having a hard time. It's like becomes bad. So he's having a hard time selling stuff. But I got a couple deals from. I picked up something for my wife. She's an M&M collector, so I picked her up something that he had M&M saved for me. But I got this for ten bucks. It's a Sharknado sweater. So he, he says, yeah, 
I guess we should try and get rid of it. He says, ten dollars. Right on. I liked Sharknado. I thought it was a funny movie. He also had oops, these for five dollars. I couldn't believe it. He says he had these on. He was talking to his wife because he was running the store while she was at the con. And he was been trying to get a release for a while. I didn't even notice that they were five bucks. These are paperweights. There's Dr. Fate. Lex Luthor. This is all from the Justice League cartoon. Justice, the Justice League cartoon? Yeah? Amazing cartoon. That was the, one of the best cartoons ever for the Justice League. Uh, Red Tornado. And... Two more. So these were all five bucks a piece. So no tax or nothing. So uh, Martian Manhunter. And The Atom. Talking, I'm pretty good friends with them, and he said, "Yeah, his, his wife says, yeah, I'd be happy. You've been trying to get rid of those for a long time." I'm like, <laughs> okay. Uh, now from the gaming store, uh, came right there. I picked up a few things for my boy. He got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. He got some My Little Pony cards, which were actually pretty cool looking, actually. Um, and I got, he got a plasma zombie little sunflower kind of thing, and I picked up this game. We have this already, but this is a hard plastic case for it. It's zombie dice. It's pretty cool. The, the yellow is a shotgun blast. The footsteps are basically running away, and the brains are what you eat. So basically, you got to roll a, a roll a certain amount of. Uh, you get to 21. Let me click for something for some reason. I'm kind of tired. You got to get to a certain amount of uh, game, uh, di brains. You roll it. You get five dice. You roll it. You got to get so many uh, brains in a round. Or so you get so many brains, but then every time you get a yellow shotgun blast, you're only allowed three. So if you get the three, your head gets blown. So you can keep going as long as you want, but you gotta, you gotta not make sure you don't get shot. And this is like I said, this is a hard plastic case. So the other one, the original version's got a cardboard case in it. It's wrecked a lot. Uh, this one couldn't resist. I bought it with. You give me a deal because I bought this other book. I'll show you. Uh, this is the last thing that isn't uh, book related. Uh, we, we bought this book from him. I went back to get it. I couldn't... I couldn't my wife always says, are you going to regret it? And he says, yeah, I better, yeah, I'll go back. So that was, She wasn't there, but she, she's in my mind telling me what to do. But my boy saw this and thought it was hilarious. We got this for two bucks. It's a uh, Popeye target ball with four balls and two targets. Um, what caught my boy's attention was Popeye has four balls? <laughs> like, uh, I got a good laugh out of that, but it's kind of a neat little thing. It's, it's really warped, but I mean, I thought it was just kind of neat for two dollars. Why not? Some, some fun. Um, now the, the, why, the reason I was at that guy, he's a little expensive. I know this. I know this guy from before from cons and other places. He's a little expensive, but I talked him down pretty good on this one. But this is the Kiss Super uh, Super Special Kiss issue. An amazing shape. I think I got a great deal on it. Kiss Blood, of course. So I was happy to get that one. Uh, just put that back here out of the way. I also picked up one Treasury Edition. Uh, I talked to the guy down pretty good on this one too, but I didn't have this one. It's the Detective Comics First Edition one. That one. I find places for all this stuff. Tons of comics to show you guys. So. Uh, let's start over here. Uh, doodly do. Uh, my, I've been showing a lot of these Harvey Horrors. There's a guy there who had Volume 2 of The Witch's Tale. Uh, he wanted like uh, a lot more than what I was willing to pay for it, so I offered him the same price I pay, would pay my comic guy, and he, he took it. It took a little bit of convincing, but he took it. So Harvey Horrors, uh, Witch's Tales, Volume Number Two, hardcover. As Scott, you know, there you go, Scott. That's a great read. Uh, this one I thought was a really cool to get. Uh, I don't have actually, I don't have any of these that I know of. So I thought I decided it was a number one. It was a good price. It's Joe Kubert art. It's Justice Inc. featuring the Avengers, and it's a double cover issue. So there's two covers on this one. It was a really great shape. So I decided, you know what, I don't think I have any double covers. So this is my first double cover issue comic. Uh, this one I got for a little bit off. 
uh, price. I got these two basically for the same price as buying one, but it's Bomba Chunga Boy. First issue. And I also got Plastic Man. Number eight. That's pretty cool. And this other guy was selling uh, his comics for a dollar a piece, and I really loved this cartoon when I was a kid. So I got these all for, I talked them down, it was $12, I, I talked them down to, uh, I think I got these for less than a dollar each, so. It's a great cartoon, Battle of the Planets from Top Cow. So I got issue one. Oops, wrong Number two. Number three. Number four. Six, seven, number eight, number nine. Actually, this one, this, this guy looks really, if I can get in there, he looks really creepy, that kid's face. I'm not going to make it out, but this is number ten. And eleven and twelve. This is my favorite cover of the world, probably. In the side and in the front there. So up there, you know what? What the heck? Miles will grab them. Should be an interesting read. I don't. I never read these ones before, so obviously I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't have them. So put them all back in order here, real quick. Sorry to take the time. I'm really happy with that uh, double cover issue. That's. I'm pretty sure I don't have any of those, so... There we go. Just put this over here for a sec. Excuse me. Now... Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, Scott, you talked about... I don't know if, if you're watching. Uh, you talked about this series before. So I just... Uh, he gave me a deal on the whole series, so I decided to pick it up. It is The Secret Six. You, re you recommended... The, oops, sorry two books there. So Secret Six. So I get to read this series and see what this is all about. That was number one. This is number two. Number three. It says To Kill a Mockingbird on the front of this one. Four, Escape from an Enemy. And number five. And number six. So this is the worst one. This isn't such a great shape or anything, but at least I have it. I don't mind as long as I got it. Tape is usually... I don't know. It's usually if it's... For me, as long as I have it, it tape bothers me, and the only thing I, I won't, or I won't, I don't really want to get is when it's incomplete. I just, it's okay if it's in really not great shape, but it just has to be complete. No coupons or anything cut out. Of and this is number seven. So I got the whole run of the Secret Six. That's pretty cool. I decided to gra uh, get these ones too. Uh, he didn't have all of them, but I decided to start getting these ones because I've, I've always liked these covers. Uh, it is the Forever People, and this is number two. Yes, two. Forever People number two. You can give me a, this guy I bought most of these from, uh, you can give me a free comic to try to entice me to get it, uh, to get, get any of these other ones that I've been, I started in rock comics, but are already at work. He also gave me, um, this is a good price on all these things, so. Uh, this is number three. This is in really great shape. Love these covers. Um, number four it says two, three, four. I think I already have number one. No, I already didn't have number one. I can't remember. Uh, this is number five. Cool. Sandman's in this one. You know, extra Sandman. Here, yeah. people. Um, number six.
And I remember this comic when I was a kid, actually. This is uh, number seven of the Forever People. Really cool yellow cover with green all over it. Oh, Captain Strange Life. Hans will love that cover thing. I remember he liked yellow and greens. It's a cool cover. And number eight. This is a really neat one. It's kind of creepy, actually. They're all, like, chained up and stuff. Sandman's in this issue as well. And, uh, it's, ooh, looks like lots here. This is number nine. Kind of a Frankenstein looking one. Extra Sandman in this one. It looks like uh, Dead Man's in there, too. Cool cover. Here's Dead, this is Dead Man, look out for, and then Dead Man gets smashed by this energy or steam or something. That's number ten. Dead Man looks really different. Uh, and this is the last one I got, number eleven. It's, it's cool. Looks really good too. It's a really good shape. And these prices on here, I didn't pay these prices. So, cause he, I keep coming back to them all the time. Uh, this fish he picked up for me, uh, he found it. Uh, it was the last one I needed for this series. It was from the be beyond, sorry, from beyond the unknown. So now this series for me is complete. Number nine. Very cool spaceship for me there. Space stories in here. Just love the spaceship. Uh, I only needed one new gods. So I got New Gods number seven. This is the one that I, I, I'm sure. I think I'm finishing the New Gods now. I really love that, uh, that picture. That cover. I'm sorry. Great cover. And I only got one Omac. You only had one Omac. I decided to try to get some of the older Omacs. I got uh, issue one and two. I think this is number six. So I picked up Omac number six. Okay. We've got a lot of comic books. <laughs> we spent uh, we spent some money. Uh, these are all Sandman comics. Uh, next five are Sandmans. I have number one already. I don't have the pink issue, uh, but I have the uh, the other issue. This is uh, it says near mint minus, but so this is number two. Love that Jack Kirby art. This is number three. I love the monkey here. Oops, my thing. The monkey here, uh, it's got a me mechanical brain or something like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, number four. These are actually really all great high grade copies, actually. It's really kind of creepy, though. Like all these creatures coming in. I hope they can get closer to them. Aren't those creatures just so cool? Super awesome. And number five and number six. So I got now I have one to six. I'm not sure if that's the whole series or not. But great stuff. And this last one's really uh, we have in Doctor Spire. The Sandman is dead. Like these are all like great copies. I think these are all in Mylar too, actually. Kind of creepy looking robot fish kind of thing there. Cool. Can't wait to start reading these things. Uh, I already had Captain Action number one. Uh, this is Captain Action number two. Neat cover. I got my first Captain Action from my comic guy. So I got the rest of these from him. This is number three. Actually, this con too was kind of cool. Uh, they had a whole bunch of uh, DC Direct 12-inch uh, figures, but they took them all out of the boxes, like Shazam, Aquaman. No, I've got kind of a thing where I don't like buying um, used plushes or used some used certain items that are used because you don't know what you might bring home, and I just want to be protected in my family. So, uh, number four. And I've heard, I've heard of stories from a couple guys. And number five. This is actually a really cool card. Captain Action number five. That's pretty neat. 
Um, I also decided to get these ones. Uh, just not the whole run. He didn't have the whole run, but uh, he, he saved it for me. It's the Watchman. I never actually. I have the trade, but I don't have the uh, the actual uh, comics. So we got number two. And number. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. Uh, 30, number three. Number four. Number five. Correct. Yes, five. Really enjoy the washroom. Number. Sorry. Number six. Number seven. Yep. Then I jump to number eleven. And that's the last one I got. So another series I gotta finish off. I really like the smaller series, they're easy to finish off. Uh, when I finished off my Avengers it was it took so long, it's it, it just I like the smaller the smaller stories are just as great as the longer ones, but it's a really a real good accomplishment to finish those long ones, but I, I really like to get the smaller ones, so they're a little easier to, to manage. Um, this is Mysteries of the Unexplored Worlds. So I decided to get this one because I just thought the bug cover was cool. I really like these stories. They're really cool. It's by Charlton Comics. No, it's not. CDC Comics. I do this. I just love the bu bug cover. Oops. And this is, uh, I got one of these before. Uh, it's not in very good shape, but I decided for the price it was a good, a good deal. It was Ghost Stories, and it's a uh, space kind of movie. Most uh, spine tingling tales of mystery and suspense in or out of this world. So that's kind of cool. Another Ghost Stories uh, Ancient Aztec Curse. It's kind of a neat cover to it. Really good cover too. And in Ghost Stories, that, that was number. So this is number number eight, and this is number seven. There's a big huge cat on this one. It's ghost Stories, kind of ghost pointing at something. Uh, now, actually, these might be out of order. I've got a ton of House of Mystery, ton, 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 ton. I just really enjoy the old uh, these, these books a lot. Uh, this is number two, two eighty. Really cool cover. Uh, it says on here, with these pages dwell creatures from from the terrifying beyond. Three fearsome tales that will hold you spellbound. There's just some kind of electrical creature there, some kind of I guess like a gargoyle kind of thing, some kind of zombie. That's the fun. You get to find out. Oh, here we go. A werewolf. Actually, this werewolf can talk. It says, fool only a silver bullet can kill a werewolf. A weird, a weird werewolf shocker. Plus two other fear-filled features. That's where we'll talk. Uh, this is number two seventy-seven. Cursed to perform be, uh, before an audience of demons. Here you read limited engagement, and all these demons are here. They look too demon to me. Demon to me. This is issue number 275. It's kind of cool. It's like a, yeah, kind of like a gangster or skeleton kind of guy, and he just shot this other guy. Pay the final installment in buy. This is oh, this is a bondage red cat, red red girl, girl in a red dress cover. Uh, this is issue number 270. All these weird kind of like guys in cloaks and stuff all around. Black mass. Uh, this is a cool one. Take this magic sword, mortal, and you will never die in battle. Demon blade. It's not in the greatest shape. Some of these aren't really in good shape, but for the price, I just, you know, what the heck. At least I have it. Uh, this is number 263. Uh, Three Frightening Tales. Is there vengeance after death? And this is guy sitting by a grave stone. It was a fun little con, though. 
there was even guys dressed up there, and it was a kid. It was Kiss. I think it was it was, it was Demon, and then there was a Stormtrooper. I think Raggedy Ann was there. But for what it was, I mean, it's a great little place to go. It's super. Kids can get in. They can look at stuff. The prices, the price to get in for your, an adult is three dollars compared to like what? How much is the phone? Twenty-five bucks. I it's just, it's just much, you know, it's, it's much smaller, but I mean, it's more personal. More book, and there's, again, there's so many comics there, it's just crazy. Um, this is number 283. I got this cover just because, I'm thinking about finishing this series, but also it's just a really cool bug cover. Like, this guy's being attacked by thousands and thousands of bugs. And the bug shell here appears. Uh, there we go. Fear runs rapid. This is actually a larger issue. This is 282. Jack the Ripper stalks the city, and he's being whispered into his voice, by, uh, into his ear by vampires. So that's pretty neat. Uh, this is a good. This is, this is a neat one. House of Mystery number 281. It's a boxing issue. Some kind of guy. Some kind of demon guy is battling this, this other gentleman here. And this is, is a creepy one. Wow. This is why I hate clowns. Uh, this is not in great shape or anything, but it's just 285. There's a storm outside, and this clown has opened the door with a big, huge knife, and this little girl standing there with a teddy bear. See, how can you say enough clowns aren't terrifying? Scary little th scary things, man. Stupid clowns. <laughs> uh, all these kids. School's out forever. And then there's all these kids with these red eyes. And this is issue number 289. Sorry, I think they might be out of order, but... House of Mystery, uh, Good Morning Bennett and Goodbye, Dawn of the Living Dead, it's a vampire, he's burning the vampire, this is issue number 291, Sun's getting the vampire there, and another vampire cover, uh, this is 290, beginning an unforgettable series, I Vampire, oh wow, really, I didn't even see that, I just saw the vampire cover, or maybe I saw it, I forgot, that one. And, oh geez, got more over here. Holy smokes. I'm not sure about this, uh, if this is the first series or not. The guy said it was, but I, I liked Astro City so much. I decided to, I found these for, uh, it was a big all in the bag, Astro City number one. And he said it was the whole series, the first series. I, have to look, I didn't look at it, I just grabbed it because it was Astro City. The only thing I have for Astro City, and since I enjoyed it so much, was the the ongoing series right now. So I grabbed this right away and I got these all pretty cheap actually. Number two, number three. Is that creepy? More clowns? Yay, clowns. <laughs> and number four, Winged Victory. It's, I think it looks like Winged Victory. So. Let me put that here. Uh, I decided to collect these ones too. Uh, I got these. These copies aren't very good. Uh, this is Sword Sword of Sorcery number one. Kind of cool. It's got these uh, kind of like goblin trolley things there. It's got this axe. Uh, number two. Correct. Yes, number two. This one's kind of beat. But I basically got this one for free. So. Uh, number four, I didn't get number three, there's number four. Big old eyeball there. And number five. Uh, this is the book I got for free because he wants to entice me to buy the Our Army at Wars. So he gave me this one. 100 page spectacular square bound book. Shannon, you might like that. Well, I know you like that. It's a square bound book. Sergeant Rock. So hopefully this one will get me enticed to get uh, those other ones. I do like Sergeant Rock a lot. So, still quite a bit more here. Uh, House of, back to House of Mystery. 260. Now, this one's freaking cool cover. Look at that. That's like. Uh oh, somebody's in the cab and shouldn't be there. This is number 212. 
This kind of looks like an insect. Uh, this child is in a wheelchair. It's a really cool, bright color. It, it, the colors are bright. This is in a wheelchair, and this insect is. Looks like, it looks like an insect. No, but I'm not right now. It's, my wife just made some uh, bis cheese biscuits like a red lobster, and uh, I can't touch biscuits while I'm touching comics. Let's see, come on. <laughs> um, don't hit me. <laughs> this is number 211. Yeah, it looks like a vampire come, and he's coming towards a grave and uh, the skeleton's going across and shooting something at him. Uh, this is 208. Actually, I showed a trade last week uh, of House of Mystery Volume Number 2 and it's actually it's, it's actually this cover. These little kids are hiding around set in clothes. No one dies today. This is issue number 189. This guy's drowning or something. There's a rat there. I think that's a very large rat, or it's just the camera and the angle of it. I really like the, the, the top of it too, with the bat, with the bat screen, the bat uh, shadow, and things touch the background. Did I see what that one was? It's 189. I'm not sure if I said that one. Like he's already in great shape, but give me a good read. Uh, 183. Uh, 236. This is a creepy one here. Uh, Bernie Wrightson and Steve Ditko. That's what I'm saying. Did I say what that was? 236. Did I say that? Kind of cool looking like things coming out of the swamp there. Uh, <laughs> my, ki my kid laughed at this one. He thought this one was hilarious. That's uh, 238. These two kids on a roller coaster and a skeleton behind them. He's just like, what's with that? Like, He's just laughing. That looks hilarious. The wheel's coming off. Uh, this was a kind of funny one. Uh, it's skeletons wearing bear costumes or something. This is 243. There's skeletons walking with bear costumes, and this guy's got a rifle, and he's going to try shooting it. Actually, he's caught in a bear trap, too, actually. You can see what the next step, bear trap. Uh, this one is number 244. Olive chills. Like a, it's just some kind of demon walking down the stairs holding this girl, and there's a bunch of ghosts behind there, and this other one's running away. Uh, this one is number 245, and it says, You're trapped, witch. Now you die. And then she's thinking to herself, This, this, this woman is, is an ugly witch. Fools, the trees live to do my bidding, and soon you killers will be killed. So there's the girl, the, the old witch running away from the tree, running away from those guys, these trees are coming alive. They're sort of gnawing on those guys. I thought this one was pretty funny. This is actually a larger, uh, it's a dollar comic, 80 pages, it's a big one. Beware the demon child. You, you, well, what do you think though? I mean, okay, this is kind of creepy. This is number 253. Now she's horrified, but what do you think about it? You don't see the baby's face, but... I think we're getting closer. Now look, he, the baby tore the eye out of the teddy bear, and look at these rattles. Like if you can make it out, like those don't look like normal rattles. So how horrified could you be if you gave, unless somebody gave it to him? That wasn't supposed to. Uh, this is kind of a neat one. It's a dog sled. This guy's falling off the cliff. Uh, Two forty-six. It's a dog sled. The guy's falling off the cliff. The dogs are going after this polar bear. Madness of the frozen north. House of Mystery again. Uh, I got lots of House of Mystery stuff. So. Joe Kubert, Kubert Ard, sorry. Find out in a new I Vampire story. For Shocker, I'm sorry. And this is 297. Considering I've been getting so many of these comics, I might actually try to finish this run, actually, for House of Mystery. And the next one I want to show you, too. I mean, just really love the, the horror comics. Uh, 293. Actually, it was funny. There's this thing I'm going to show you guys later on when I get them. Uh, they're called Horror Classics. If you can check them out, check them out. I might have mentioned them before. They're little blind boxes, little figures, all kinds of different guys. And uh, there's this one I didn't recognize. I'm like, what the heck is that? Thing? And uh, apparently it's from Trick or Treat. It's some kind of like ragdoll kind of, like potato sack kind of guy. And, and we were at the con and I looked down at this movie. Like, oh, for crying out loud, there's that movie right there. It was five bucks. I opened it up and looked at it. Oh, it was scratched. I'm not, no, I'm not buying that. Even it's five bucks, I wouldn't buy that scratch. It wasn't scratched bad, but I'm bad enough where I think it wouldn't work. Uh, this is 293. I Vampire again. 
and meat cover. Mm, I, need to hit I got this cut one for just to cover also because I'm, I'm thinking about finishing the series. This is 231, but man, that is a cool uh, werewolf cover. I'm trying to beat him with sticks and axes and stuff, and he's just going nuts on him. The House of Mystery again. Uh, last Tango in Hell. And this is 232, so she takes off his mask because it's midnight. And I don't think you want to take that mask off. You're not going to get a good kiss from him. Skeleton Boy. Uh, another square bound book, Shen. Uh This is number 225. It's actually really kind of funny looking, actually. For, again, more kids hiding from the firemen who can't. Uh, there's a fireman over here with the horses and the skeletons. And uh, we've got some other stories there. That's kind of a thick wool. I'm just dropping my crotch here. What they're going on here? That second story right there of this swoops from side. This guy's kind of creepy looking. That one says, uh, this one will scare you to death. Oh, and that's, as far as I know, that's it for the House of, uh, House of Mystery. I needed a couple, I found a couple copies of Werewolf by Night I got from him before, but he got a couple more copies than I needed. So I got number 22. And I got number 23, so that helps probably finish off that run. Still need a few for that one. And I thought I got this one just because of the cover. Uh, Weird Mystery Tales. I just thought it was really cool. It's issue number 4. I just thought it was kind of cool. This guy's trying to steal stuff, and he's this green you know, tentacle thing trying to get him. Uh, Weird Wonder Tales. I had number 2 already. I think I had 2 and nine, I think. So I, I got Weird Wonder Tales, and this is number one. I got lots of comics this time. I need help. No, I don't need help. I like I love comic books. <laughs> uh, this is number three. The Thing in the Bog. That is a cool bog monster. Lots of, like, different kinds of textures in the, in the artwork. Uh, number five. The Thing in the Cell. And number six. The Man Who o who Owned a Ghost. It says, Dear Lord, this is my husband. He's after you. Four frightful tales. So. Number seven. Uh, these monkeys. This is a pretty funny one, actually. You operated on us, Dr. Nagin. Now it's our turn to operate on you. And it's like this guy is being tackled by these uh, monkeys, or gorillas. And they're going to operate on him now. The apes that walk like men. And Weird Wonder Tales number 10. Uh, this was not in great shape. I got it really cheap though. The only invaders attack the earth. And the only, and only an outcast stands between them. So here's the girl in the red dress. I wanted to mention that one time, and now I, I, for some reason I always watch that to see if I can see that all the time now. Now these are House of Secrets. I think these are all House of Secrets. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I lied. There's another... Oh, no, there's more House of Mystery here. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing. Uh, okay, these are all... There is some more House of Mystery coming, I'm sorry. I got them mixed up. Uh, again, these might not be in order. Uh, number 28. House of Secrets, featuring a Merlin uh, mystery. I just really enjoy the covers on these ones. They're crazy monsters, and they look just amazing. Uh, House of Secrets number 30. The, the mark, the town's completely deserted. What what could happen to all the people? And when you look around, there's all these pink, pink and yellow mo uh, aliens walking around. Uh, this one I thought was really neat looking monster, actually. Um, number 33. Mark is being pulled into the gorge. She's thinking this. It's like a cloud bubble. Into the, gor the gorge. Into the waiting arms of the beast. And like, if you look at this creature, like, it's just crazy looking. It almost looks like a beaver with these weird arms. And it looks like he's wearing a coat. And then it's got these claw feet. It's just really neat looking. I really like that one. Uh, this is number 36, the creature costumes. It looks to me like they put this costume on you and they turn you into these things. 
Actually, that's what it says here, creature in costumes. I really like the creature on this one. Uh, Beware the Guardian Beast. This is number 48. Cool looking creature. She's riding on. He's riding at. Great Scott. Elsa has become a victim of the ancient curse and has joined forces with the creature guarding the treasure. She's, she's pointing at them. Get them. <laughs> uh, House of Secrets number 56. Uh, here, what my, instead of my image in the mirror, a glowing giant steps out. The secret of the spectral crimes. And this guy steps up this huge morning star. House of Secrets number 357. Invasion of the Shadow People. Shadow World? Yeah, sh Invasion from the Shadow World. Basically, they're saying that statue, that shadows coming at them. This is number 68. I don't know, I, I, just, I, thought this was, I just thought this was a new cover, actually. It looks like the Plastic Man kind of thing, the Green Monster on it. You never know until you read them. Uh, this has a Lipso in it. So basically, uh, this is number 70. And he's going to go back into this. I don't know much about Elipso, so I can't say too much about him. I've heard of him, but I have, I'm not, I'm not going to lie and say I don't know about him. Anymore. So this is my chance to read some stuff about him. Uh, this number 69 is a giant cat on here. A giant cat. <laughs> it's a this card. Uh, this one is the House of Secrets number 72. He says he's no long, longer under his control and will destroy you and Merlin. I guess this guy controls this uh, new monster. House of Secrets, two of DC's greatest characters, and a some new sensational Prince Rama, Mind Master. That was a quick cover. This is issue number, sorry, number 74. Sorry it's taking so long, but I'm right near the end. I only got uh, maybe 10 left. Or two. It was just such a great, great time. You guys, we bought lots of stuff. I wanted to, sh I wanted to share with you guys how much stuff we got here. I thought this was a good one. Uh, number seventy-six. Um, new cover. Lots happening on here. Lots of like, lots of uh, stuff happening on this cover. And House of Secrets number seventy-eight. Again, more and more stuff happening. Here. All kinds of all kinds of stuff happening in this issue. And we're back to the House of Mystery. Oh, here we go. I love this one because uh, this is number 149. You've been found guilty and the penalty of is death by B firing squad. Feels <laughs> like what? So this, there's this bug here. Oops, on the other side. This bug here's the judge. The firing squad is coming in and you're going to kill this guy. I just thought that was a pretty great issue. Uh, this guy, this one here is number 136, and he's the secret of the stolen faces. So basically, this guy puts you on your face on his white disc, takes your face off. How can you not want to read that? I mean, come on. I like, I got this one for the cover too, but at 131, uh, I just love the cover. Like, look how cool that is. We got fire guys here. Then just on the geyser god, this guy's in this, as I guess it's in his bestest suit, being grabbed, and there's Native Americans there, and some park rangers and stuff. And two more House of Mystery for you. Uh, well, I can read that one, it's kind of 92. The people, uh, they're replicas of people from different ages. How? Who could have made them and why? The sleepers from the past. So basically, there's a bunch of replicas inside the black figures, I would assume. And then one of them's coming out. There's House of Mystery. And the last House of Mystery I got is number 91. The, fa the Forbidden Face of Fa San. Interesting. That was kind of neat. Four left. So this is the. Oh, let's see if I can come here. Yeah. The Witching Hour. 
He's gonna try to get some more of these for me. I only have a few of these ones. It's Neil Adams on the art, but how could I how could I pass this up? Uh, number fourteen, the haunted house in space. Like, how could you pass up that house haunted in space? And the last little witching hour is number fifteen. I married a ghost. Going the last two are not horror related. They are actually Hawkman. Number 20 and 23. Number 20 is uh, when I needed to help finish my series for the first, three, first volume. And the last comment we're going to show you today. Thank you for sticking around. I appreciate it. I'm so excited to show everybody my that I got, got, got brought in. Uh, we, I was talking to the guy about this one, the guy I was buying them from. The guy I know a lot, pretty good. We thought it was sun bleached, but it's not. I don't. I don't know if it is or not. I have to look at this one. But I got a really good price on it. And uh, but it's if it is sun bleached. This is number 23. If it is sun bleached, it's not splotchy. It's just unless it was just all oh, one one thing. But he thinks it might be a printing error. I needed it anyway, so I figured what the heck. I'll just get it. It was give me a pretty good deal on it. So there we go. I gotta look at this because he says the inside is really good doesn't make sense. Usually there's some kind of other things that hint at it being like that. Like being like uh, some bleach it, it affects it in other ways as well. I'm not sure but I have to research that a little bit. But he might have been not telling the truth or he might have not known or whatever. I gotta look it up and see if I can figure it out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys sticking around through this whole long video. Uh, I was gonna make it two but uh, my computer was screwing up, but uh, apparently it stuck around for a long time. Uh, again, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.